Stay tuned for new sounds from Tinoplasto for the background sound. Ow. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to eat. I'm too fat. I mean, you cannot weigh over 90 pounds. I'll be fine after, after a drink or two. I can't do anything right. I might as well be dead. Eye to the sky. Crow's nest in my eye. Go out and buy a bag of dragon food today. The postman will never know his way. And Blasto will drink to his death. It's a beautiful day in the country. The air is sweet with the sm smell of flowers and wheat. And I'm happy to be here at your command. And now that I've had a few drinks, it's time to go loony. And now, the loony man. This is the loony man. And I wish he could. Martians out there, they got a hold on your neck. Don't try to fight it. It's only a miracle. My son, it is a miracle. This is General Blasto intervening. Turn off the music. Now, go to sleep. Hello? Hey, where's the bathroom? Where's the bathroom, man? What are you trying to say? This is General Blasto, and I'm talking the rapid way. I got a tank that is full of gas, and it's going to your house. We're going to look for drugs. We're going to look for subversives. The communists won't go to leave until we turn the signal off. So General Blasto warns you not to go outside your house and go into the living room and see about that louse that's been sitting there for 62 years. All aboard, time to die. Blackness is the way we saw it. The last record I bought was about the life of Eisenhower. I treasure it, even though it burned in a fire. The Rappin' Way, that's the General Blasto Way. Communicate with the younger generation. Blasto is the rapper. And now, I will rap for you. It's my first time, so don't get panicky. Circus. He's going to take us insurance, and then he's going out to the elephant house to see if they had something to say. And uh, believe me, they didn't. They didn't know what to say to General Blasto, so they put a sticker on his forehead and said, But it 
there will be no consequences. For I, myself, and those who are closest to me, can understand and hope of what I have to say today. She takes off her hat, plays with her hair, and lays down and makes herself very comfortable. Something more is scared by a waiter who says, I've got this drink for you. Drink it before it gets cold. 
got any more says what and now the surf comes in washing in photon fish and desserts from the desert and now we'll watch as Dudley Moore goes out into the water piggyback on board a lifeguard's back yes people at the beach they know what they're talking about don't they It is very apparent that Dudley Moore has only two minutes to live. I know we get a place and get my place and I got a little right there with his kid. The League of Non Smokers says Bougeway. This is General Blasto. Before the news, I would like to congratulate the U.S. Senate for its victory in the House. Hello? And now. General Blasto's earthquake boat, starring Charlton Heston, George Kennedy, and selected other guests selected by General Blasto on the big list. That was out last week if you missed it. Touch it. My concern now is that the set is too loud and I'm going to have a headache before I fall asleep. It is now November 6th. 1986, and the time is now. You have heard rumors of D-Day from the start, and now D-Day has come. It's time to invade Normandy, and Kilimanjaro, with stops in Australia, England, and Norway. NATO will be happy to help you when she could on land, and NATO is friendly they are friendly to all who are friendly to them. Carry plenty of cash, cigarette stamps, and pudding pills because you'll be out there a long time. Stay tuned for war coming soon on General Blasto's network. Yes. Hello? It is late at night. Joe Blasto is sleeping. I'm talking to you through my extrasensory perception, known in the local world as ESP. I've got little hairs on my tongue, and it's hard to see through that hair. I landed my first chopper in the backyard. Two confessions of Blasto. I ran over a dog with my jeep my first day on service. I became fat and lazy and smoked in smoking chairs for two years. I went to Namibia and spoke the local language. I don't know fat from fiction. It hurts my brain to think so. So, I'd like to thank Warren Green for being a good citizen and a good commander. He's got a dog that died. It's still sitting upright near the fireplace. And Lauren talks to it every night since his wife died ten years ago. But now, Lauren Green has a robot dog. Now, Lauren Green has a robot dog. Fetch. Fetch, girl. Fetch. Um, um. Good girl. Now, sit. Froggy? Has anyone seen my froggy? I miss my froggy. When will Froggy come home? This is General Blasto. I'm talking to you from the stereo sound of television land. As you can hear, some of the sound I speak are in stereo. Now, what will the question be? What will I be asked next when the world comes to an end? Is it only clear that the world belongs to the oysters, not to you? Are you sitting around in your stew so well become a smoke? sinister place where no one is safe. I believe so. And so we will start the Bleepers Militia. Hello? Yes. You will help me. And you will help me defeat everyone. Yes, you have to. 
glass though, if I can. Hello, hello. Don't talk into my microphone. No, I'm sorry. I'm just talking to mine. Uh, okay. And now, Bill Flasco will give his speech if you've got five minutes. You don't? Oh, well, I'll come back tomorrow. Maybe we'll be here then. Goodbye. I am out of range. So, help me out. Spock, help me, Spock. Oh, help me, Spock. Oh, help the Spock and land the ship and do the planet fall. Then we land himself a little piece of property. Oh, oh. No, no. Oh, no. Captain Cook has blown up on his piece of property. Look there. Who is your command? Who is your command? <laughs> This is in a blast of turning his head from side to side, telling you to come back to Earth, America. This is a generalized message from the General Blasto the Presidential Front. General Blasto has been waiting for your letters, and none have arrived. I repeated my address seven times in the last ten years, and boy am I hot. So, stay tuned for more... Blasto. Hey, baby, it's Blasto. He's got his face left, you know. And if he gets into your house, you better call the mouse so he can chew a hole in his shoe. His shoe will sink, and so will his leg, and then the other leg, and then he'll go down in his story as Blasto, with the hole in the shoe. Blasto, brushing his teeth. Television. My voice is not back yet, so stay tuned. General Blasto's camping adventure now. Uh, come on, General Blasto, we're going to the city. Going to the city? Are you kidding? No, General Blasto, we're all packed. Let's go. All right, let me get my television set, and my TV set, and my audio-visual set. Excuse me. General Blasto still has a cold. Oh, well, we'll be back when the adventure begins. Oh? I'm supposed to say that. Die. Uh, <laughs> the century passes. We see more people than we want to see every day. I'm still looking out to that periscope outside the yard. I don't see anything. <laughs> Do you see anything? I'll be back to General Blasto as soon as I get off this goddamn chair. It's full of holes. But I'm going to just stand here and look at the chair until I die. So, back to General Blasto, with the more of well, whatever he gives you. Goodbye. Hello? General Blasto is providing the transportation. 
for all the people to go to Hawaii to dance and sing. And now, a benefit for Dwight D. Eisenhower. Hit it, Ike. I'm dying, General Basto. Help me! All right. Stand at attention. <laughs> That's better. And now, you shall march. March outside. <laughs> That's better. Now, get off the podium. Hello? Where'd I go? I'm down here on the floor. You best to help me up. Why would I want to help you, Ike? Die. Uh, and now, it's railroad time for General Blasco at the railroad station. Come in, General Blasco. Come in. Put that train over there. Oh, oh, what? Oh, this is General Blasco. Hello? Good. You're all awake and listening. Well, here I am at the train station, and I'm happy to say that number nine has missed its step and is laying over on track 23. Due to technical difficulties beyond my command, there is no picture. And now, audio time with General Blasto. This is General Blasto, making my appearance the last time since I've had a cold. Blah. See, I still got a cold. Just a second. This is Blasto. Now, commanding the entire U.S. economy with the help of Rockefeller. Come in, Rockefeller. Hello? This is Rockefeller, and I turn over the operations to General Blasto. Now, everyone get out there and do what General Blasto says. Load those cannons. End this helicopters and let's get going. Thank you. And now, I will give you the list of volunteers, which is why we're here after all this time. And here to give you that list is Rockefeller. Oh, Rocky, let's hear the hockey. All right, General Blasto. Now, the list of Gondari starts like this. Africa is not on a, 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 a one nation anymore. It's gone. We didn't find it. It's disappeared. All right, back to you, General Blasto. Yes, now I am holding my breath because he pardoned. Oh! General Blasto knows no myth. He is oblivious to Vulcan intentionalism and Kirk's intent. General Blasto will go into the hearts and souls of the soldiers before they die. Oh. Blasto speaks. Blasto speaks. Blasto speaks. Attention, attention, listen, pray. I went home and hid in the bushes. The end. I walked through the door and then I fell into the bushes. I dug up the bushes and slept in a hole. I was hit by a semi truck and then I fell into the bushes. I fell off the roof and into the bushes. Junior burnt down the bushes and then I fell into a tree. And now, I'll give you my results. Live in a concrete building. There is no plants, no trees, no animals, nothing. And now, stone. <laughs> this is a revolution. This is the world of General Blasto. Hello? General Blasto, Lost in the Fog, by Ian Spelling. Oh, I'm on the way to the fog, and I'm lost, and I'm cold. Hello? 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 This is General Blasto. It is people. This is to
no glass door. The rear drags on. The slippery Los Angeles Giants defeated us once again in Mexico City. And little did they know, Clark Kent was there to help us. With his cape, he unfolded a mighty picnic that the super friends enjoyed without us. So we waited around. And who did we see on the corner? It was Floyd Nelson, con artist, and laughable look-alike to many Hollywood stars. Oh, looks like he just fooled somebody new. Oh well, you learn it once. Anyway, the concert and the funerals and the festivals are occurring now. Fit in at your latest army headquarters in the town nearest you. This is General Blasto. The world is General Blasto's little oyster. <laughs> I keep it in my pocket when I look at it when no one else is looking. <laughs> It saves an embarrassment, and we all will walk home with a mighty smile. Like this. Oh, this is General Blasto sitting in at a dinner party for all my friends. And now, the dinner party with General Blasto. Hello? Yes. Yes, Eisenhower, this party is for you, for all the bravery that you have caused. Ike, would you like to say a few words for the audience? General Blasto, when I made you up, General, I was drunk. I, I didn't know what I was saying. But you, you, you learned your lesson, and uh, I'm about to pass away, so I'll be back in a couple minutes. Thank you, General Blasto. This is General Blasto in the woods of Central America, and it's very, very cold here. The pygmies are running about, and I'm rather confused. They don't realize the technology that I bring with me. Here, look. Look, pygmy. I've got a cigarette lighter. Do you know what that is? No, I don't know what it is. Here it is. The devil, the devil, the devil. Ah. Well, I must have frightened him away. And now, I'll bring back the old guard. I believe in the old guard because the new guard just doesn't match up to their credibility. And if it's in my interest, then it's in your picnic basket. I'm going back to America now, so stay tuned. Goodbye. <laughs> look, look up. Look at the monkey in the tree. He's tossing coconuts down. Let's pick them up and bring them back for the troops. Uh, I didn't say you could talk now. Send down some coconuts, monkey. Send them down now. That's an order. Ouch! Take the position.
bazooka and put it in position. Alright, monkey, toss down another one, but make sure you get it right. <laughs> Ouch! Terroblaster's angry. Load the bazooka. It's not time for you to talk yet. What are you doing? And now the monkey will die. Blast that monkey from the tree. Aye, sir. Mr. Sulu, is that you? I'm playing another role, sir. Blast that monkey. Aye, sir. This is General Blasto taking a hit to let you know that all is well on Earth. I'm letting you know the spacemen will not tolerate what we do here on Earth. But it's only of consequence that we must deliver our farewell message now. And so. I will read you the list of all the things that we will need to be have done. Dear General Blasto, no, this is the wrong letter. I'm sorry, I'm about to laugh, so I'll be cutting out. Be back in a second with more business. Ah. General Blasto Productions presents General Blasto on his way to Mars on the space bus. Take it away, General Blasto. Oh, this trip is making me sick. Oh. Oh. I better go to the Bat Cave and feed Batman and Robin. The space bus is leaving without you. You had ten minutes to get on the plane, and yet the plane crashed and burned. Why weren't you on that plane? Ah, Pleasant Valley Sunday, and I'm on my knees in heaven. Let's hear it for heaven, the place where you're okay. And now we will go fishing with Ali McGraw. Hey, Ali, do we use fishing poles or bombs? General Blasto, you are a Kaiser. Go fish in the toilet. Get a Kaiser. Hello? No patriot. You will be shot. I'll be back in a little while, after the shooting. Say goodbye to your mother. Hello? And now General Blasto Productions presents The Boy Who Ate the Last Starfighter. One day, the starfighter was cruising through space, and he came upon a little cottage, and in that cottage, live three bears <clears throat> and then Humpty Dumpty fell over and was scrambled eggs which the troops ate gladly so they could fight the fighting I tell you this now because you may have a question about it in the future and let me tell you this there are no answers and now, I'll blow myself up for your pleasure. Thank you. This is General Blasto, commanding your respect. And now, 
will have a preview of this new attraction. I promise you, you will hear the preview in this entirety. So, listen up, or put a bag over your head. My, my name is Dwight D. Eisenhower, and I, my friends call me Ike. Just a second, I'll put in my puppy's teeth. We can't talk, but we'll roll out your teeth. Just a minute. There, that's better. And now, a message by you American people about the values which President Reagan speaks about today. Uh, Thanks, Ike. You've got a brand new trike coming in the mail. And now, General MacArthur will talk about his days in prison. General MacArthur. Oh? Today was a big day. It was the big day because the troops landed where they should have landed. It is a very poignant point to tell you that the troops landed where they did. And the rockers and punkers, they just didn't have a chance. And now back to General Blasto in New York with our new commentary. Stay away, General Blasto. Thank you. And now, the enthusiastic General Blasto will commit suicide on the air. Hello? Oh! Attention, non-believers. Listen up. It is time for you to show your face. Yes, it is time to show your face, and General Blasto will be pleased if he sees you there on November 4th as a faceless voter. Yes, General Blasto's favorite candidates are lining up at the podium. Well, listen to some right now. Starting our debate is Barry Goldwater of New Mexico. Hello, it's Barry. Hello? Yes, General Blasto, yes, I'm going to step up to the microphone here. <laughs> testing, testing, testing. All right, the microphone is working now. Go ahead. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm voting for, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm running for governor, and I hope you vote for me because I've got my two shoes on my feet, and I'm moving the state forward, and uh, that's, that's about all. Do I walk off to this direction? I, no, do I walk out that door? I, uh, what, what do I do? Thank you. And now, a living, living senator from New York, Reagan. Reagan. He didn't vote for the president, but I don't know where I'm going to vote. Now, if you please vote on November 4th for me, thank you very much. You have heard commentaries from the candidates that are voting or running for CIA. Now, I'm getting strange that are voting for Rick. Rick. Hello? Hello? Meanwhile in space. Get the antidote. Shh, fuck. Right here, Doctor. I've got it in my hands. Well, give it to me, Spock. Here, Doctor. Catch. No, you damn fucking. Whoops. Now look what you've done, Spock. We'll never get that off the floor. Look, Spock, it's burning a hole through the floor. This is the sick bay. Spock here. Who is it, Spock? It sounds like it's coming from engineering, Doctor. Listen. Who will have the captaincy?
children will look up to me as the greatest woman since Tarzan. Now, here I go. Now. Ah, this is General Blasto at his son's acid tripping party. Yes, there are degenerates everywhere. I look down and I see a hippie laying on the floor unconscious. I wonder what he's been snorting. <laughs> Inside this door, we see the rabbit skin people. What are you doing in there? I know, just, we're just doing the wrong thing, man, so... Where'd you get the haircut, man? That's not funny. Wow, man. Hey, man, why don't you go talk to the dude who's running this party? That's a good idea. It's a good thing I thought of it. It's my glory, so I'll enjoy it the way I wish. Goodbye. Yeah, man, like get lost, you fucking creep. What? What was that? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, man. Just, he's over there. All right, thank you very much. This, this gentleman here looks like he's running the party. Excuse me. Uh, what, what, man? Are you running the party? Yeah, man. Hey, where's you want to buy a glass, man? No, I have a pair of glasses, and I like to wear my own, please. Hey, man, like, uh, hey, it's your own, it's your own trip, man. Why, well, hey, man, just, you know, mingle around with the people, man. I'll do that. Uh, are there any foreign dignitaries here? No, I, yeah, yeah, man. Uh, there's, a, there's a man from the rock group, the rock group, uh, the Clash here, man. And there's, uh, there's, uh, there's somebody from Tebo here, man. Hey, man, just, you know, I, I gotta go, man. I got my girlfriend calling me, okay? Hey, hey, man, take it easy. Uh, okay. Um, Here's a gentleman over here who's passed out on the floor. I'll wake him up. You, sir. You, sir. Get up. Hey, man, what? 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 Oh, hey, man. Uh, who are you? Hey, man. Am I in jail or something? No. I'm General Blasto, and I'm at my son's party. Have you seen my son? Uh, no, man. Uh, hey, man. Uh, hey, look, look, that girl over the corner, man, she's, she's waving to you. What is she waving at me for? I I can't get it up. Well, man, everybody's got their own trip, man. Hey, but, uh, hey, man, just join the party, Mr. Uh, what's your name? General Blasto. Yeah, man. Uh, around here, we just go by first names, man, so why don't I call you Blasto? That's just fine. Thank you. Yeah, man. Sure thing. Well, it's time for General Blasto to take a drink. Here we go. Ah, uh, very good. Ah, uh, I wonder what was in it. Hey, man, that was the, the uh, radioactive punch, man. We got it from Three Mile Island. Three Mile what? What did you say? Oh, well, this is General Blasto. I'll come back as soon as I find my son. Goodbye. This is your last time. Always run. Help me. This is Blasto. I have a cold.
and I want you at home. Time is attention. When I get my voice back, I'll be General Blaster again. So, send those cards and letters, and all those scary gifts. Attention, uh, I'm too tired. I'll be back, but I'm well. This is General Blasto at Christmas time. Merry Christmas, everyone, and I'm sure that you don't have to buy as many gifts for me as you did last year. So, it's only consequential that you bury the hatchet today. And now, the news. Soon, the General Blaster Theater of Players will stand in line and wait for a name to be called to the podium. It is only four o'clock here in New York City, and I am getting tired. Hello? Oh no, stay tuned now. Yes, I was astounded when I first saw the Dukes of Hazard driving around in their fast vehicles and not knowing what they're saying to each other. Boss Hog, family fat man from Alabama or something. Then there's a fat old man with a white beard. Seemed like a trusting fella. But you never know when he's going to turn you in. Hi, buddy. It's your old pal Gilligan. I've been getting pretty stoned since you last saw me. Here's some scenes from Gilligan's Island. Is that? distances that closely. Bless me. Bless me. The charming Negro's description of property. Oh, how did I know that? Yes. But I know he will be there. May I see your engine room? What is it that powers your vessel, Captain? Then there are dead men. Oh, I have none. To me, this seems quite as it should be. Please. Despite the seeming contradictions, all is as it appears to be. I am Abraham Lincoln. Believe me, just as I am whom I appear to be. Live long and prosper, Spock. May you also, Captain Kirk. Whatever I am, would it harm you to give response? The uh, image of Serac read in your face what is in your mind, Spartacus, was more than sufficient. Let us speak no further of it. Take your purpose. I come in peace. To propose peace to all of us. Surrender? What do I gain here? Perhaps I can convince my associates. Peace. It's a worthy effort, Sorak. Help me, Spot. Something closer. Stay back. Help me, Spot. You can't let him suffer. This is...
is the voice of Magic Blasto, and I'm waving my magic wand upon the land. See how the trees grow. The people walk about the town and crow about the land that General Blasto made. Stay tuned for more info. Stay tuned, or else... Greetings, beautiful mutants, and how may we be of service? And now, the ad from Slam Magazine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the sled. And that ocean tip knife. Thank you. Why, thank you for that $100 bill. Yes, this is Richard Nixon, and I'm out in the bout in the countryside. I didn't do anything wrong in Washington, and I'm calling my Secretary of State to talk about war. Uh-oh, what's, what's Grandpa up to now? Hey, Grandpa, what are you doing upstairs? I'm going to get to it! What did you say, Grandpa? Come back, Grandpa, come back! I'm gonna get you! I'm up in the air! I'm coming upstairs! I'm gonna get you! No, Grandpa, no, get back! I'm going to get you! No, I'm gonna get you! Oh! No, Grandpa, look out! No! Not, not the clothesline, Grandpa, no! No, Grandpa, hang on, hang on! Ah! Ah! <laughs> No, Mr. Grandpa, are you okay? One day, John Poindexter was running down the road in Washington. Why, look, there's President Reagan's grave. I'll go over and pay my respects. Hi, Mr. Reagan. Shut up! And now we have the life, the day in the life of the skeleton. Mr. Skeleton was running down the road. And he stopped to look at some trees, and he was happy about it. And then something was whistling through the sky. He went to see what it was. Look at this, you babies. If we have to blow up the whole fucking hill, we'll go marching in. We'll be standing two feet from the floor. We're coming in to get you, Mr. Bunny. Colonel North, you are guilty of treason, and we're sending the UFOs after you. You can't hide in the Senate room. We'll just saw the door down and get you. Mr. North, we're following you up to the White House press room. Don't, don't follow anyone else. Yes, Colonel North, you're going down with the ship. And when we're through with you, you'll be out of breath. See what I mean? Don't take your life, Mr. North. We've still got a few questions for you. And Mr. Skirton, of course. Yeah, I just 
And now, the narrator will talk to himself because of his schizophrenia. This is Joe Pasto at Christmas time. Merry Christmas, everyone. And I'm sure that you don't have to buy as many gifts for me as you did last year. So, it's only consequential that you bury the hatchet today. And now, the news. Soon, the General Blaster Theater of Prayers will stand in line and wait for our name to be called to the podium. It is only four o'clock here in New York City, and I am getting tired. Hello? Oh no, stay tuned now. And now, the ad from Slam Magazine. This is Brasto. I have a cold, and I want you at home. Family detention. When I get my voice back, I'll be General Brasto again. So, send those cards and letters, and all those scary gifts. Attention. Oh, I'm too tired. I'll be back. But I'm well. Greetings, beautiful mutants, and how may we be of service? It is now time for you to vote for Wheelock Whitney. Everyone, please cast their ballot in the stage door next to you. It will be fine that we all got together and voted on this grand day like today. And now, the narrator will talk to himself because of his schizophrenia. And now, the ad from Slam Magazine. This is the voice of Magic Blasto, and I'm waving my magic wand upon the land. See how the trees grow. The people walk about the town and crow about the land that General Blasto made. Stay tuned for more info. Stay tuned, or else. Yes, I was astounded when I first saw the Dukes of Hazard driving around in their fast vehicles and not knowing what they're saying to each other. Boss Hog, finally fat man from Alabama or something. Then there's a fat old man with a white beard. Seemed like a Tristan fella. But you never know when he's going to turn you in. Hi, everybody. It's your old pal Gilligan. I've been getting pretty stoned since you last saw me. Here's some scenes from Gilligan's Island. These are our origin. These are our children. This is Jason of the Dissenting Lane. Jesus. <laughs> 